Hi there, this is Duncan Kazungu from Aero Productions. I hope that you are doing fine. And my friend, I know you're watching this video because you have a Photoshop problem. My friend, don't worry because you have Dr. Kazungu in the house. So you might be working on a project or you are designing a poster and you want to save it, especially in the later versions of Photoshop, and you find that it's giving you an error. So how can you do that? In this video, I'll be showing you the three ways you can do to avoid this very problem or to basically solve this very error. So let me show an example of this error that I'm talking about. So for example, I've been working on this project and then I want to save it. So if I click on file, then come to save or save us, it loads for a very short time and then gives me this error. So if I send the feedback, it tells me that Adobe has received my feedback and it will work on it, but then it closes Photoshop. So I have to open it again. And again, if I click or don't send, it will still close Photoshop. So this has been a very very bad experience with photoshop but then i found a way how you can solve this out and i feel that i should share with you this so the first thing you want to do maybe some of these steps will not work but i believe one of them will work for you so the first thing i want you to do is to click on edit and then click on preferences and then go to general then once this has opened click on performance and then come up to legacy compositing so make sure that legacy compositing is checked and then click on ok then try to save your file to some of you it will work and to some it will not work so for me it did not work because if i come to file then save and uh, i wait for a moment it still brings me the same same error so what can i do so this brings me to the second method so you realize that every time you do something in photoshop it saves that very process in a file called adobe preferences so you will want to move that very file from where it is to a different location so that uh, the time you're opening photoshop it doesn't remember the preferences that it saved some time back you might have messed somewhere or someone might have access to your pc or your laptop and has messed up with photoshop so it remembers those very errors so all you need to do now is to move this file from its location to a different location and my friend here is the location of that very file so all you need to do is to follow through this and find that very file allow me to do the same then i will move this file to a different location After you have done that, all you need to do is now to restart Photoshop and try to save. If it works well and good. For me, it did not work. And so this brings me to the third method. For some of you, it will work. For some of you, it will not work. So I tried all these two methods, the first two methods, but it did not work. But I tried for some other people, it did work, right? So the third method is to completely uninstall Photoshop and delete every file that belongs to Photoshop. I know this is a little bit challenging because you will lose your workspaces, you will lose your plugins and all that. But then if these two are not working, then the only option you have is to completely uninstall Photoshop. So my friend, what I did, I uninstalled Adobe Photoshop from my computer and deleted every file that it had saved, plus the Adobe preference file so that it comes back as it was bought. So my friend, after that, I reinstalled Photoshop after like five minutes. First of all, I restarted my uh, computer, then I gave it like five minutes, then I started 
reinstalling photoshop then after that my friend when i tried to save it it accepted and everything is working on smoothly all you need to do now is to rearrange your workspace and bring back the uh, you know extensions and you know bring back also the very plugins that you had installed earlier on so i hope that these three ways will help you and also you've realized that in the beginning when i was opening photoshop it was giving me an error that photoshop has failed to read the uxp home screen extension and this was a big headache but after i reinstalled photoshop this error has completely been solved so i hope that this will help you as well and i'm hoping that my friend you have found your solution to what you are seeking for if you find this video helpful at any given point feel very very free to hit that like button and my friend if you like my general content feel very very free to hit that subscribe button and not only subscribe my friend ring that bell so that you do not miss any other future tips tricks or tutorials otherwise i'm hoping that i will see you in our next video until then remember to always keep creating peace